listen, you are ridiculous. What's up, everybody? It's your boy, JP. And uh, back at it again with the videos. So we're going to... We're going to push forward and continue on with that and see how that goes. But, uh, I think where we left off was steering spindles and stuff, maybe. So let me put this video together and then y'all can check out the rest. Get the steering out of the way. <clears throat> I should be able to hopefully finish it today. And then also, uh, this steering setup, if you can, if you can see right here. It's kind of straight up and down. It's just straight up and down. It's really far forward. So what I'm going to do, since I have all these uh, freaking, what are they called? Well, oh, fuck. Uh -oh. And that's where I'm kind of at right now. So uh, after I get that done, I think because if you look at the steering, oops, if you look at the steering wheel, it's like straight up and down. It's really far from the seat. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is actually, I'm just gonna take this, cut it, and then probably move it down six inches. That'll put the steering wheel pretty much in the lap of the driver. And then we should be, a, that should uh, give us a little bit better, uh, steering capabilities or what's it called ergonomic ergonomic abilities so what i have here is actually the steering spindle i kind of made because i didn't want to just go buy any old spindle which would you know be the easiest thing so what i did is i had these bolts from the original suspension uh I mean these nuts from the original suspension. Then what I did was I took this bolt, put it through the nut because it didn't fit. See, it didn't fit in there. And then on the inside I welded the nut that fit this bolt. So what this is gonna allow me to do right here is I'll be able to bolt from underneath and then it's sitting on a bearing. I welded that bearing. I know don't weld bearings, but I have an a, a excess amount of these smaller bearings and it is just froze up it'll still spin but it's just not very not very good so I'm gonna put this here and I'm gonna run a piece of flat bar with a slight bend in it Let's see a slight bend in it and then I'm just going to bolt this on there just run that bolt on that and then that'll allow me to take out the spindle if I wanted to replace it and whatnot. So I'm doing this on both sides. Currently, I have both of these done to this extent right here. Uh, and this bolt in the bottom, I just tighten the shit out of it. So I put the bolt through, then a nut on there, and then welded it in. So it's just a normal bolt in there. I just put a freaking nut on it. Yeah, so what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to grind these down, make them all pretty, and I'm going to start welding on the, the axle that the hub rides on, and then also the uh, s steering flange, the, the piece that hooks to the, uh, the daggone um, rack and pinion, you know, on the spindle. Anyways, I'll show you. You'll see. And since your boy doesn't have a bench grinder or anything, uh, I just I just duct taped this grinder <laughs> to my sawhorse, and now. I have a damn bench grinder now. And right now I just got done drilling these little holes right here. See. I'm making two at a time, so I'll have them clamped together, so I'm making clone copies of each other. But, uh, yeah, so it's going to go on like that. Well, actually, it'll probably be closer to, the hole will be closer to, for a little bit of Ackerman and, and whatnot, all that sciencey stuff, little camber and whatnot. Uh, but, yeah, this is what I got real quick. And I'm about to round off this side like I did to this side so that it'll fit. 
nicely over this pipe. Okay, and so here's my little attachment to the spindle. This is not tacked yet, but this is how I got my my uh, uh, camber steer. This is how I got my appropriate camber right here. I have not done these little tags in the back for the rack and pinion, but I have the axles duct taped to this rod, this dowel rod that goes all the way across. And then I have it rested up against here so they kind of slid down in there, making them nice and tight. And then uh, what I'll do next is I'll just come through and I'll tack it and then tack it again. That dude was cool, actually. Anyways, tack it and then tack it again and then come back, weld it all up and then see if I can get some tires and wheels on here. That would be dope. If I can get the front end done, uh, that would be really sick. So another problem I ran into right here was this, this rack and pinion right here, um, whenever I originally did it, I had different spindles. So whenever I put this on, I, uh, I put them on, on the wrong like side. So underneath this panel, there's going to be another bar up here that goes across like this, another support bar. And so I'll weld it, I'll flip them, weld it to this one. That'll bring it closer that way, bring this close to that way. So I'm not running that bent angle like that and not getting any type of, uh, any type of the appropriate, not getting the appropriate angle on my, uh, my steering. So I'll do that another day. So got this welded up. Well, I got it tacked on. Looks decent enough, right? They're both straight. They're both equal, so whenever I turn. Very cool, very nice. So here, I've tacked this uh, my little flange on there because I ran this back to the center point of the axle or where the axle would be, right? This will give me my appropriate angle. So I tacked it on this side and then I've done it on this side as well, right here. Um, and then after this, I still have to move this to the front. And then before that, I have to uh, remove all the rest of this paneling, which is going to be a task and a half. So we'll see how that goes. So I got my little things tacked on here on both sides now. So that's cool beans. I'm going to take this and I'm going to have to move it up over here. So instead of running something like that, which we're not going to get any type of angle out of, I'm going to run it like this, just right here instead. So, um, let's see. I got these things filled up just now, me and Corbin. He started in the weld, so that's really fun, you know. And then I still have a bunch of grinding to do. And uh, thanks to Nick for helping me grind the other day. Uh, filled in these caps. That's cool. And uh, yeah, so I just, I think tomorrow I'm just going to try to get this off or get this rack and pinion off of here. And then uh, start taking up this panel, floor paneling. But for now, that's going to be a wrap, I think. So that's going to be it for today. Oops. So that's going to be it for today, guys. Um, I don't know really how much y'all got to see. I did do a lot of work, however. Uh, and I'm freaking beat. I'm tired. There's a lot of work today. It was good work. So.
Check you next time. Love you, Asa. This video is for you. Every video is for you, Asa. I love you so much. This go-kart. Asa Spades. <laughs>